Today, we will review the Capnography N-Title CO2 feature included with certain configurations of the Aratamid 3880 MRI patient monitor system. This video will focus on connecting the disc filter to the monitor, selecting the appropriate cannula or airway adapter size, connecting and detaching cannulas or airway adapters and hoses, and placement of cannula or airway adapters on patients. The CO2 readings will be displayed in the yellow section of the patient monitor. Here, the user will see the CO2 readings, CO2 waveforms, respiratory readings, dynamic trends, and alarm limits. Step one, selecting the appropriate cannula or airway adapter size. Depending on the patient, nasal cannulas for adults, pediatric, and neonates are available in standard, divided for O2 delivery, and oral versions. Additionally, the monitor is compatible with those patients whom are ventilated or intubated where the use of the included adapter might be needed. To connect the cannula to the sample line, insert the male connector into the female connector and rotate one half turn. Step two, connecting the disc filter and sample lines to the monitor. Each Iratamid sample line kit includes a new hydrophobic disc filter, sample line, and adapter. The adapter may not be needed for all applications. When monitoring the end tidal CO2 from the 3880 MRI monitor and not the wireless multi-gas unit, the user should always ensure the agent's parameter is turned off. To do this, the user will press the settings button, click the parameter button, press the box located next to agents until off is shown. The user will then press the back button twice to return to the monitor screen. Next, connect the disc filter to the CO2 accessory port on the monitor. The user will attach the disc by inserting the male connection to the female port and rotating clockwise one half turn until it stops. The user will then take the male connector of the sample line and secure it to the female connector of the disc filter. Step three, application to the patient. Once the cannula has been attached to the sample line, the user will place the cannula on the patient. To apply the cannula to the patient, wrap the cannula's tubing around the patient's ears and insert the nasal prongs. Be sure to pull any slack to secure the cannula to the patient. If the patient is to be intubated, the user will connect the sample line directly to the airway adapter. To do this, insert the male adapter into the female adapter and rotate one half turn clockwise until it stops. At this time, ensure that there is ample slack in the tubing to allow the patient to move forward into the MRI bore. For more information, visit www.iratamed.com. For technical support, please call 407-677-8022.